got a little bit of smoke. But I figure she's old enough to do that. guys we're gonna go over here we're gonna jump start this car so Transmission slipping bad. He thought he was going for an adventure. <laughs> I tricked him. mouse in there. You guys see that mouse? The mess he's making. As you can see from the sky, hopefully, very beautiful day out here. So the storm has not reached us yet. It's in the Bahamas right now. It's a Cat 5 in the Bahamas. Uh, it's got 160 mile an hour sustained winds. It's got wind gusts up to 190. Now, it's still supposed to veer off of us. We're going to get something. But it's kind of unpredictable right now. We're going to definitely get something regardless of what happens, which way it goes. But, so it might not be too bad. But, uh, I'll just have to keep you posted on that. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that little mouse. Well, he's kind of big, actually. He's been living right there. I done got rid of his nest twice. So, hopefully once I get this started, I got to get this battery charged. The battery's clear up under there. So, let me let this charge up and we'll fire it up here in a minute. All right, I've had this on the reason why I got the lights on high beam on the truck is because it helps, it puts, the regulator puts out a little more juice, so it does help. But, because this battery was clear dead, this thing hasn't been run in a year. Because I remember she got, last year on her birthday, she got her stickers, her stickers for the truck and the car, and I never even put the sticker on this thing. It's still in my filing cabinet. But if I can get one full crank out of this thing, it'll start. So let's check it and see. All right, 
guys hooked running. It took like two cranks, but we did get it running. I mainly wanted to start it up to charge the battery in case I need the battery. <laughs> Look at this. But, yeah, it starts right up. Too bad the engine's blown. burn a little oil sitting on empty so I'm not going to let it run too long because I don't want it to run out of gas I got to move this thing uh, not today uh, I may move it forward to about where the truck is that way That way it's not right under the trees. I think it'd be safer if I moved it right about where the truck is because there's less trees there. Um, of course, I really don't see a problem with it sitting there. But let me get this off the charge or we'll let it run for a minute. We'll move the truck back around. Right. Yes, transmission's getting weak in this thing. And I thought about servicing it. But sometimes it makes it worse, so you got a 50-50 chance, and if it gets worse, then we're screwed because of that thing being blown up. So. Although, I could put the car right here. I think it'd be all right. I think I'll do that. Ooh, this air conditioning feels good. I'll let this run for another minute because it was charging that thing up. You know, I am go. I am going to go ahead and pull it right there because there's less trees. If I can get it to move, it should move. There's nothing wrong with the transmission. Yeah, this thing's cool. I'd like to restore it, but she's wanting to sell it. But, uh, it's got a four wheel disc. It's a powerhouse. It'll scream. It's just, uh, see? See that in the mirror there? Okay, I think we're good here. Eighty seven degrees out. Man. All right. Let's let this run for a minute. I thought I'd put the top down on her one last time. This is what happened through that the last storm. That right there, Hurricane Irma. Well, it was actually a week before the storm even hit. The car was sitting over there where the truck is. It was pointing, it was about where the truck is. And a tree limb come out of one of these trees and went right through the damn top on it. And that's what happened there. So, I get the tires aired up and stuff on it. But, 
we'll let it run a little longer. That's the quietest this engine has sounded in a year and a half. <laughs> And Shea Bear is up there on the roof. I'm over here. Um, I'm trying to bring it closer. Hey, just walk over. Anyways, I got me an umbrella here so we don't get the camera soaking wet. We have started the rain. Um, it'll probably stop and then we'll get some more. But I want, we wanted to get this branch off the roof here. So that's what he's doing. And of course, when you start these things, it rains. Yeah. So as long as it's off the roof, even though it's still over the roof, it, it won't be banging on the roof. So uh, this is the old roof. It's the original roof. Yeah, and these are only 20 year shingles. So. And it's getting ready. I'm going to have to probably. Um, start preparing and yeah, get this fixed. 20 year shingles. It's outlived its life by like 10 years. Yeah, probably the trees saved a lot of it from the sun and stuff. Yeah, believe it or not, these trees did help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. But so. remember, sat five years with all them pine needles on. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. It's been like that since I moved in here with it. I was scared to clean it really because I didn't want to take all the sand and the dirt off if it's, it may cause it to leak. Yeah. So it's probably best just to kind of just brush off the top layer of the leaves well, you and that's about off. it. A lot, I've seen a lot of people sweeping it. Yeah. That's what makes the sand go away. Yeah, you don't want the sand going away because that helps protect it. So yeah. um, I did learn that. Yeah. And it's a good thing to know because a lot of people, yeah, they get up there and think, oh, I gotta sweep it all and take water and wash it down. Oh no, you're just taking the whole life away. Well, you can use water as long as you don't have pressure. Yeah. You know, I've like seen them do that time. though. Uh -huh. I've seen them use pressure washers on the roof. Yeah, you don't want to use pressure washers. Yeah. I've used water the first time. Yeah. But, all right. We'll be back with you in a minute. And stay tuned. It is getting stormy. Yeah. So it has increased to a category five. Yeah. And they're yeah. saying on the news they really don't know where it's really going to go. So if we get a high pressure point. Yeah. Like out from the Carolinas, you know, in the ocean, in the Atlantic. Yeah. If we get a high pressure point, it's going to blow it back towards us. Yeah. So. So and you can't determine that. So. No. And. You know, I'd rather be prepared than be sorry. That's right. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. So there's Monkey. <laughs> I didn't tell her to do that either. She said, I'm going to put the camera down and drag these around back. She's a worker. <laughs> Believe it or not, umbrella. <laughs> Huh? Did you burn that it's green, I'll have a hard time getting it started. Huh? Yeah, but do we have any pick? I mean, if it gets nasty, the whole yard's gonna be covered anyway. <laughs> she's going back for another load. Look what she's done. Pretty cool. Alright, we're going to keep preparing. I got all the batteries charged while I'm on the last one charging. And I've, here, I'll turn you around here. And I've got uh, car batteries charged. Of course, truck battery. I got one of the interstate's battery, the small interstate battery, the 24. It's charged. 27 is charging right now. Uh, of course, the battery in the tractor and the scooter is charged, so uh, we got five batteries there. 
and I may try to charge the battery in this. I think it'll take a charge. I'll try to charge that overnight, and then we'll have that battery too as a backup, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, I've got three inverters. I found two. I don't know where the other one is, but um, one of them is, I'll show it to you. Um, believe it or not, I can run a saw. I can run a jigsaw with that thing. It's 150, but and then I've got two sets of these, so I've got one of these for my other inverter, which it'll be used to charge the phones. This will be to use to whatever, like uh, if we need Wi-Fi or something, I can plug that in. Uh, computer, I don't know. We'll see, but uh, anyway, mostly charging the cameras and, you know, that sort of thing. So, and I'll set them on a tray that I've got back up under here right here where we set them up last year and that'll be our charging station so we're good to go uh, we've got coolers we've got some ice in the freezer just in case but like I said we we mostly have dry goods that way uh, meat don't go bad but we do have a lot of, a lot of frozen stuff we'll just have to eat the hell out of it okay guys so all right on to the next project okay guys so that's kind of what we do to prepare for uh, a bad storm, in our case a hurricane. Um, it's still going up the east coast, it's moving very slowly. Now it is a Cat 5, but it is moving slowly. Now, what they're talking about is a cold front that's kind of keeping this, uh, keeping it where it's at and kind of making it move up, up the east coast. But, the problem there is, you know those are models predicting something that we already know okay we know what it is right now and we're using models to see what 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 will happen if it stays like this yeah the models are pretty close but what we can't predict is if that cold chain that cold front changes if the cold front changes you know we're going to get a higher pressure point out there in the Atlantic and it'll push it directly west which would be right across florida we can't predict that you know if that's going to change but i did get some of these limbs off here as you seen off the house it wasn't really touching the house but they were close so i got them off there for kind of got that cleaned up put the top back up on the car so we're good to go there uh, let's see if it'll start. It's been sitting here a couple hours. Ooh, it's hot in here. There it is. Fired right up. And like I said, the, the air conditioner works great. <laughs> It's cold already. That's why it fogged that up. But, but we're good to go. Ugh, sorry about that. Should clear up here in a second. But yeah, that's some nasty garage. We need to get it cleaned out. All right, guys. So there you go. Um, we're all set now. If the storm starts getting bad, I'll pull the truck. I'll move these items. And I'll pull the truck and set it right here long ways and I'll put the tractor over here where the three-wheeler is and uh, to kind of block anything and also it's got some some protection here you know nothing is, I don't think anything's gonna fall on us here so we should be alright like I said I will move this truck over there so alright guys I want to say thanks for watching but that's how we prepare for a hurricane uh, a lot of people will actually put plywood up over their windows and stuff, but we don't have to worry about that where we're at. We're kind of like, uh, not quite, we're about 85% up top of this knoll, right? So, as soon as you top this hill here, you know, they get a lot of wind. So, but we've got like the back side of this hill and houses over there. See, the wind always comes this direction. So, it kind of goes, the wind mostly goes over top of us, you know. So we got these trees blocking us. So 
we uh we stay pretty good where we're at so anyway guys um that's what we did today so um thanks for watching i appreciate it and uh y'all be safe if you're down here even up around in the carolinas and stuff you guys just keep an eye on it and uh be safe and we'll chat at you soon shea bear the myth man legend golf now bye bye guys take care